Hey guys, it's Sepulchre. We're in a game between uh, Tony Schmidt and T Scholar. T Scholar is playing Iron Fist Stronghold, and uh, Tony Schmidt is playing Forgar Swamp. And uh, I got in this game because it's really the only one that uh, had like just started. They're both rare league, so who knows what this will be about? <coughs> uh, I haven't seen Tony play in a while. He's usually uh, top 100, so. I guess he just started playing again, and uh, T Scholar is usually about the same rank, so uh, I'm not really sure how this game is going to go. We got Karch over here, and um, Dwarven Wind Fury, and Karch has four defense now because he has he was buffed to three base defense a while back, and he has a uh, plus one defense upgrade. Global Dervish over here, now short lived, recently got changed. Oh wait, no, it hasn't yet. Uh, well, maybe. The description is still uh, the same, but I thought it was patched to be eight turns instead of twelve for short-lived two, um, which means four, basically four rounds instead of six rounds, which is a big nerf to Global Dervish. Oh, Tony, you attacked it with range. Uh, Global Dervish has elusive, so all range attacks against him miss, and he's gonna put out Salmon Daredevil. Don't try a lightning skewer. I don't know. Will it work? Okay, Lightning Skewer works. Ha! <laughs> so, uh, cool. Paralyzed one. Well, um, T Scholar's got his, uh, font down here pretty secure, and, uh, Global Dervish will be able to do uh, a little bit of damage. I'm guessing he's gonna Macadamize or something to give it mobility so he can run around and just hit everything. Yeah, there's a Macadamize. I'm clairvoyant. Um, anyway, guys, uh, I'm finding myself, just on a more personal note, I'm finding myself having less and less free time lately. So, um, there's a Dwarf Excavator. Cool. Uh, so, this is, this is, uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm observing this game, is because I could, I, I really don't have enough time to sit around the lobby and wait for uh, limited league players to play right now. I have a lot going on tonight, and I was like, oh, I have about two hours of free time. I guess I'll do a Pox Nora video, so appreciate it. Uh, yeah, um, basically my life is getting really busy. I just uh, got out of an interview for an internship. Oh man, Tony, you can't attack it from range. Come on, dude. Come on. And so, oh no, he attacked it from range with Daredevil. Come on, Tony. Tony, look at his abilities. Just look through him right now. Just save yourself some more misery. Look through right now. Be like, wait, why is he avoiding everything? Oh, elusive. That's it. That's all you yeah, gotta do. Um, and there he puts out another Daredevil. Global Dervish is gonna be in that font for a while. It's too bad. And uh, since he's got Domain Rock, um, he can. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh no, T Scholar. Oh, he still got mobility. Good. Um, does he already have mobility? Maybe I'm a noob. I have been pretty out of it lately. So Dwarven Winfrey moves back up here. He probably should move to a couple more spaces to, you know, keep his AP. But he's uh, going back and forth, hitting both of them. And of course, Karch's damage shield doesn't hit him because he has uh, immunity poison. He's down to uh, zero defense. And he puts down a war banner, so uh, Salmon Daredevil can't hit him twice next turn. And that, that Global Dervish is actually tearing up Tony pretty good right now. Um, but yeah, if I get this internship, I'll have even less free time. But, uh, like, uh, maybe you've noticed, I don't know, I haven't really been playing much of my own games lately. I've ranked Decade down to Exotic League. So, uh, if I do play, it won't be very seriously. I'll probably be playing other factions, things like that, just, to, just for video's sake. I think the videos right now kind of take precedence over my ego. <laughs> so I, I'm not really going to, I'm not really planning on trying to stay in limited league or climb the rankings again at the moment. Um, but never fear, even though I'm running out of uh, free time between school and uh, other stuff that's going on right now. This is my hardest semester of school. So I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna stop talking about myself, but 
really there's not much else going on. Karch destroys the banner. Duh. And it uh, looks like Global Dervish is dead. Just one more attack from Daredevil. Looks like Tony's figured it out. And it's dead. Gets the globe. And uh, T-Skull, I just uh, thought for future reference, if you're going to put down a war banner, um, might as well use the extra damage. <laughs> Although I don't, I'm not sure if there was any way for you to do that uh, and still block the Daredevil, but it didn't matter because Karch killed it anyway. There's a, is that a Bogopper Tad? Well, I think Bogopper Tad will be okay on this map because there's a big freaking lake in the middle, but... He can like hop over here, wait here, and then contest if he wants. And he's only 30 Nora, so good job. Ooh, so uh, there's another mine from Excavator. So that means that Wind Fury's probably gonna jump in. Yeah? Use mine. He needs to kill that uh, Karch. Just my opinion. Sapping beam, hammer strike, something. There's an oh, there's an Awan. How do you spell that? A Awan, Awan, Wan. <laughs> oh, he doesn't use the mine. Well, okay. So uh, maybe he can't. Maybe I'm a noob. Maybe mine's got nerfed, and I just forgot. I'm kind of all over the place right now. So, uh, Dwarven Excavator is probably going to get beat up. Right now, uh, T Scholar is kind of having his way with Tony, but I think Tony will start fighting back once he gets his font uncontested. Because uh, T Scholar hasn't killed his champions yet. Anyway, uh, Bok Arbor Tad moves over here, where there's no water. I guess it doesn't really matter, but he's going to have less speed, so he might as well have le leapt over here and kept his uh, 7 speed going. Oh well, not a big deal. He's only going to lose 3 life, and uh, he can still contest next turn, so it doesn't really matter that much. Whew. Oh, if any of you guys are interested in uh, Dead Island, I just picked it up yesterday, and I'm uploading a playthrough to my other channel, uh, Harshly Critical. So, just in case you're interested. If you're not, cool. Not a big deal. Um, so there's an Iron Fist Minister. T-Scholar's like, no, you ain't getting in this font. Wind Fury moves all the way over. Man, it's taking him forever to get over here. And of course, uh, Daredevil can still kill him, so... We'll see what Tony does. I think I mistakenly said in, uh, earlier in the video that Tony's usually limited league. He's actually, he's usually exotic league, like upper exotic league. Uh, but he hasn't, I haven't seen him around in a while. What's he doing? Dude, I, uh, Bog Opera Dad can still contest, so... And he has dodge. So we can, like, leap around and waste, uh... I think it can waste about 24 Nora, uh, from T-Scholar just by contesting that font, which basically pays for itself. And distracts one of his deploys, so... Yeah, he's gonna contest with Tad. Move. Okay, well he's gonna move in melee. Iron Fist Minister only has nine damage, so. Ooh, is he gonna drown? He it? Wow! Tony drowns the Iron Fist Minister, so Bog Hopper Tad has that font now. I wasn't expecting that. He drowned a 66 Nora champion, but. Oh, wow. Well, the game's over. I think uh, T Scholar still had a chance. He had A1 out, but. Oh well. Okay, well, I'll upload this and uh, I'll try to get another game. 
before I have to go again, but no promises. Alright, uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.